I am done with crypto exchanges. After what happened with FTX and BlockFi this week, I don't ever want to have to rely on a centralized crypto service ever again. In today's video, I'll show you how you can continue to participate in crypto and invest in crypto without ever having to touch a centralized exchange. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. Let's get into it. To know how to get off centralized crypto exchanges, first we have to answer the question, why do you need a centralized exchange in the first place? And basically there are four reasons. Those are storing crypto, trading crypto, so swapping one crypto for another, moving crypto between blockchains, maybe from Ethereum to Avalanche or to Polygon, and buying or cashing out crypto. So in today's video, I'll show you how to do each of those four things without needing an exchange. The first function that exchanges perform and the easiest one to do yourself is storing your crypto. There's an old expression going back to the early days of Bitcoin, not your keys, not your coins. And what that means is basically when you store your crypto on an exchange, you don't actually have the keys to send or transfer that crypto. You're relying on the exchange to keep it secure. And as we saw in cases like Mt. Gox years ago or FTX just last week, sometimes the exchanges do things that they're not supposed to with the crypto. The most secure way to store it yourself is with a hardware wallet. This is a physical device like a ledger. That's what I use. And this stores the keys on the device. And the great thing about this is you probably hear stories about people's crypto getting hacked. And what a ledger does is in order to make a transaction, you have to confirm it both on the computer and with a physical button press on the device. So someone would have to physically have this device to make a transaction. And that is pretty powerful. By the way, I have an affiliate link for ledgers that I'll put down in the description of this video. As I said before, this is what I use personally for my crypto. Now, that being said, if you want to use DeFi, you will still need a browser wallet like a MetaMask. However, it's possible to link your ledger device to your MetaMask and use them in conjunction. If you'd like to see a video on this, drop a comment down below and maybe I can make one. If you do decide to self-custody your own crypto, it is critical that you keep your secret seed phrase completely secure. This means two things. First, not sharing it with anybody that you wouldn't trust with your life savings because you're basically giving them access to your entire wallet if you share it. And second, it means keeping it somewhere, preferably in multiple places where you know you won't lose it. I've heard so many stories about people misplacing their secret seed phrase and not being able to access their wallet. The second function that exchanges serve is trading and swapping crypto. Now, some of you may already do this on chain, but if you don't, the easiest way to do it is with an application called Uniswap. Uniswap is on the Ethereum blockchain, and there are other decentralized exchanges besides Uniswap, but Uniswap will serve most of your needs, and this allows you to trade between most major coins, not all, but it allows you to trade between most, and these swaps happen directly from your wallet, so you never have to interact with an exchange. And some of you might be saying, but Dynamo, I like to trade with leverage on exchanges. And to that, the first thing I say is, are you sure that is a good idea? But if you're experienced and you are consistently making money with leverage trading, then I understand that you may want to continue, but fortunately you can do that on chain as well. There's a great application known as gmx.io on the Arbitrum network that is a decentralized perpetual exchange. And GMX allows you to trade with up to 30X leverage directly from your wallet. And this allows you to trade major coins like ETH, BTC, Link, Uniswap, and also AVAX if you use GMX on the Avalanche network. And by the way, I do have an affiliate code for GMX as well to get a discount on fees. Code is Dynamo. Another thing that exchanges are useful for, and I'll admit that I've used them for this a lot in the past, is moving things between blockchains. So moving things from Ethereum to Polygon, to AVAX and so on and so forth. Well, you can do all of this on chain now as well. My favorite application for doing this is Synapse Protocol. And there's a lot of bridges out there and some of them have admittedly have their problems in the past. But the thing that I really like about Synapse is that it allows you to move between most major chains. So you have Ethereum, you have Arbitrum, you have AVAX, you have Binance Smart Chain, you have Polygon, you have Optimism and there's just a whole big list of chains that you can move between. Uh, but what's really cool about Synapse is that they actually convert a small portion of your transfer to the native gas token of the chain. So you can see here, if I moved from Arbitrum to Polygon, it would convert some of this USDC to the Matic token. And if 
you don't understand why that's important because you've never been on chain before, then whenever you make a transaction on chain, you have to have some of the token of that chain in order to pay transaction fees. And so that has been a big problem in the past and the reason why many people always withdrew funds to a new chain directly from a centralized exchange. Well, with something like Synapse, you don't need to worry about that because you'll get gas fees when you bridge over. So now we've talked about how to store crypto on your own, how to trade crypto without an exchange, and how to move crypto between different blockchains without an exchange. So that just leaves one critical function of exchanges left to figure out how to do ourselves. And this one is, I would say, easily the most difficult. And that is how to buy crypto and how to cash out from crypto to your bank account without using a centralized exchange. MoonPay is the most common application for buying and selling crypto directly between your wallet and bank account. However, I've personally found Ramp Network to be slightly more user-friendly. Ramp Network allows you to use USD or any number of other currencies to purchase BTC, ETH, AVAX, BNB, ADA, and a whole bunch of other coins directly into your wallet. So as an example, if we wanted to buy ETH, we would have to input our Ethereum wallet. This is a burner wallet of mine. You put it in here, confirm and proceed, select that you're paying by card, put in your card information, and then it appears in your wallet not too long after. And if you want to sell crypto and cash out to your bank account, it's the exact same process, but instead you are pressing the sell button here and then inputting your bank account information. And that is how I would continue to use DeFi and crypto without ever using a centralized exchange ever again. If you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe.